All right, guys. I need some energy. Now nah, I'm tired as fuck. I just got back from Vegas. I made $100 on my trip. I went there with 400 bucks. I went with $0, but then I found $400. And I was like, you know what? Well, found by, my, I mean, taking it out of my bank account. It happened to be me finding it. <laughs> I spent all 400 in one night. Damn. Lost it. Fuck blackjack. I thought. Then I took a $25 loan, turned it into 500 bucks. So I'm up 100. Then, no, it gets better. So I pocketed that 500, gave it to my little brother. I said, Mo, this is yours. Your 500 bucks. Then, to make it even better, I played craps at the Fountain Blue, made another 400 bucks. I'm like, yo, I'm up, I'm up now, I'm up 500 bones. Then I made 300 bucks playing blackjack, and then I met a billionaire. He was like, whenever you're in Miami, let me know, come stay at my place, and I'm like, no way. all right, Adam, you're the fucking, you're a billionaire, but I'm gonna do whatever you tell me to do. And he told me, you know what this billionaire told me to do? Buy the Hummer, so that's what we're doing. We're going to buy the Hummer. Kieran's on the phone right now. I know it's a bad idea. But we're going to get the Hummer. Good idea. Oh, it's a good idea. All right, we're back to pick up the Hummer. I actually negotiated it down a little bit more, so we're paying less than what I thought I was paying before, which is nice. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Get you a registered owner. What's today? All right, we bought it. All right. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I bought it. I bought it. It is fucking dope. But it is very big. It's a big boy. When I'm driving it, it feels like I'm driving a fucking, not a boat, a yacht. A fucking land yacht. And let's see how much damage $40 does. And I bought a phone charger because my phone's on fucking 3% and we're in the middle of the fucking hood. Like actually the hood. I just saw a crackhead picking up trash and when I asked Shay about it, he goes, yeah, they pay them $25 an hour to pick up trash. I go, for real? I go, he goes, nah, he's just fucking nuts. Hey. Holy shit. All right, let's go home, bro. Right, bro. Volume's on three and I hear it, bro. I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it back home. I guess I'll see you guys when I get back from New Jersey because I'm leaving in the morning at six o'clock to go to New Jersey. I guess I'll drive this hoe when I get back. Make sure they don't, make sure they don't tow this thing. I'll give you guys a tour when I get back from Jersey, so in a, in a week, week or so, we'll do a whole video of the whip, but I had to get it because the guy's leaving to move to Mexico, so maybe that's a good sign, maybe that's a bad sign. I hope he didn't, I hope he didn't fuck me. All right, guys, it's like a week later. Um, now I'm back from Vegas and Jersey, so your boy's finally able to give you guys like a car tour, and I'm in a better mood because, okay, straight up, not everyone has the best of luck when it comes to buying vehicles. I have terrible luck, except for the M4. So after this, I don't think I'll ever buy another pre-owned vehicle ever. I had a problem, the guy hooked up those massive speaker systems to one battery, so the car didn't start. I unplugged it, and I think the car should start now so I can give you guys a tour. Um, and you guys will see in a clip I'm about to put next. Um, butterfly doors are a great idea when the car is supposed to have butterfly doors. How did you get that in? You climbed the dumpster? I'm nimbler than you. All right, so the Hummer, here's the problem. You guys saw, you know, I bought it. Um, here's the only issue. Well, that's the first problem is that I bought it. Well, no, I really like the car and I think it's been really cool for content. I think it's a really cool like idea and it's something I can like build things around. And also like my channel is supposed to be fun and funny, keep you guys entertained and also motivated and it's like, it's cool that I was able to do something like this. Things happen, bro. Not everybody buys a car and expects it to be fucking perfect. You know, if you buy a used car, you're gonna run into problems. The problems I happen to run into are because the dude decided to fucking put butterfly doors on it like this, which don't get me wrong, is fucking sick, but we've had two problems so far. One, the battery, there's one battery, there's supposed to be two. The second battery, the first battery is for the car. The second battery is for the speaker system. The speaker system was hooked up to the only battery there, which drains the battery if you leave the speaker system on when you're not driving. Fuck, so I had to jump the car yesterday. Last night, it rained for the first time in three months in California, and I'll show you what happened. Butterfly door aside, this gasket is loose, and this antenna here is loose. 
So all of this got fucking drenched. So that's what the shop vac is for and what the fan is for. I'm gonna shop vac it and do that shit. Dude, whoever, the, the fucking dude that's on this car is a piece of shit. I'm like, bro, everything's cool. Like, he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I fucking inspected it. It was all good. We all looked at the fucking pieces. I knew that the trunk had been cut right here. Fit the speaker system. But yeah, so pretty much I'm a fucking retard, but we all knew this. But we do have a rise fuel to match the Hummer. Perfect. <laughs> Give it gas, gas. Give it some more. Gas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you guys know what that is, like what that problem is, please comment. I think it might be the starter, but the starter, it might just be the battery got fucking toasted from the speakers, but it started. It started. Um, one other small problem I need to get fixed. It honestly isn't that big of a deal. I have to fix the alignment because obviously it's on 35 inch tires. With the tires being that big, you gotta do the alignment every once in a while. I'm assuming the guy didn't really do that. And then also, I have to get either a second battery or a super duty, super duty like supercharged battery to run the speaker systems because I can't listen to music because he lit he put the speaker system plugged into the actual battery when I should have two batteries uh, or one like supercharged one. I bought the car for eighteen thousand dollars. He wanted twenty five. In my mind, I saved seven grand. So if I have to put in a couple grand to get it to be what I really, really want it to be, I still saved five Gs. And I got the money from prize picks. So it's like, really I got it for free. I just had to watch football. And I, I, bro, I, I give out a lot of my picks for free, bro. I've helped people make bread. Prize picks bought me this vehicle. I'm actually gonna fucking go in depth about it and how I actually bought it and kind of explain it. Uh, maybe when I'm giving you guys a tour, but it's pretty fucking cool. And Let's go. Over. It's not bulletproof, bro. He hit, he hit a rock or someone shot at him. Someone probably shot at him. They saw, they saw the whip, they were like, I want that shit, I need it. Bah! My brother just said, we just got to the gym. But my brother goes, dude, like the doors are so heavy, like it kind of defeats the purpose of the butterfly doors. I go, bro, it's a Hummer. Like it's not supposed to have butterfly doors. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys the inside. We'll turn on the starlight. You can't see. But at night, at night, there's LED lights on the bottom. Santos Customs. Dead I'll, ass. I'll show you guys what I was talking about, about like the hood having a problem with like, uh, with the speakers. Look at this shit. Connected the fucking subwoofers in the trunk to the main battery with this shit. And it has a, a fucking train horn on it. And then we got the 35 inch fucking tires. Now listen. They say, do what makes you happy in life and make smart decisions. I listen to one of those things and I live by it. Do what makes you happy. Sometimes what makes you happy is not always the smartest decision and I totally understand that. Buying this Hummer was something I thought would be cool for the channel, something that I think would motivate me to post more content on TikTok and YouTube and kind of do cool things and just have something that's different. You're young once, I just turned 24. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going through a quarter life crisis. I'm trying to find something that is unique to me and also like, if anyone else had this car, it wouldn't make sense. But if you guys know me and you know my style, you know who I am, you know my personality, this is me as a car, like I am, <laughs> a Lamborghini H2 SVJ. Um, Pretty wide body, all right. It comes Factory with a wide body, bro. I like people have G wagons. It's the H people have Urises. I got an eighteen thousand dollar Lamborghini. I actually think I'm gonna call it the Lamborghini. You know what? Everyone's worried. Oh, bro, I'm gonna scratch my car. I'm gonna scratch my car. Indestructible. That was I'm, a light I'm not gonna kick it any harder than that. <laughs> Oh wait, go check it. Walk, 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 walk.
It's pretty fucking cool, dude. It's pretty fucking cool. I feel like a little ass kid. I feel like a smiling little fucking kid. I gotta go inside and charge the camera, warm up, we're gonna work out, and then um, I unplug the speakers so that they don't fucking drain the battery. But it, it's fucking dope. It's fucking dope. It's dope as fuck. I gotta put these away. Here, guess. Guess how much I bought it for. It's all done up. It's all done. Like, it's, it's nice. Don't butter it up. It's <laughs> under 10. Oh, uh, oh fuck. Damn. Is it under, under 10? 10? No. Oh, uh, well, given the situation of who you told me you bought it off of, and yeah, yeah, like yeah, I just yeah, want yeah. to get it off. If you were going to buy it, what would you buy it for? Oh my god. I don't know if I would buy this for a Fuck. <laughs> oh, okay, I was going to say like 22. Oh, he wanted, he 25, wanted 25, and I talked him down to 18. Uh, yeah, I was going to say 22. Honestly, the butterfly doors. The 30 inch rims. The, the 35 inch rims and tires. Another fucking car along. Hey, congrats, my guy. Uh, Thank you. We gotta hit a workout bro, soon. We gotta hit a workout way. soon, my guy. Fuck, bro. Congrats I feel on the fucking tank. I... All right, I gotta fucking get on his level, bro. The IG workout soon, get big. Motherfucker's huge, bro. Mm -hmm. Joe, Joe was one of the only people I ever followed for fitness. It was Joe, Callum, CG back in the day, um, Steve Cook, low key, and a few other heads. But like, OG days, bro. Joe was like my. Instagram go-to guy. If you guys have followed me from the jump, you know I used to fucking do swipe workouts on IG. I want to bring it back. I just don't want to have a fucking belly when I do it, bro. I feel like I can talk to myself like, why'd you buy that Hummer? You're so fucking stupid for buying that Hummer. All right, guys. So I know I talked about this a little bit, but I wanted to make it like an actual point. Obviously, I did buy the Hummer. I set a goal out uh, two and a half, three months ago. I put it on my Snapchat that I wanted, that I wanted to win enough money on prize picks to buy a car because I didn't want to feel like the money was coming out of my pocket and seeing it gone, if that makes sense. Like nobody likes spending money. So I thought it'd be really cool if I was able to, you know, win a car. We made it happen with the Hummer. Obviously I'm not blind to the fact that this also comes from the support of you guys. Using code Italian on Young LA, Rise, any other website or any other place that I'm sponsored by, just liking Instagram photos, watching YouTube videos and TikToks and leaving comments and getting through the content. That is also how I can do anything. I, I, I'm not blind to the fact that I owe you guys literally everything that I've ever accomplished. Aside from the fact that I post stuff, like there's a, there's a piece of luck that comes to it. And I was lucky that you guys decided to rock with me and, and I can never, never, you know, say enough about that. But this car, I feel like it's really cool that I was able to set aside money I had won using prize picks. So I guess I'm gonna talk about prize picks for a second. Prize picks, online daily fantasy sports app that makes watching sports 10 times more fun and also makes it super easy. You pick more or less on your favorite players and it's legal in almost every single state. Uh, you can pick two, three, four, five, or six players. All of them have different payouts like 25X, 100X, 5X, 10X, whatever it is. To kind of make it easier to digest, I'll put up a little screen. I've never done this before. I've never done the, the overlay thing, so I think it's pretty cool. But prize picks, code Italian, link at the top of the description when you guys sign up. All you gotta do is click more or less on your favorite players. So let's say you think Tyreek Hill is gonna get a bunch of yards in the next game, he's gonna go over 90, you click more. Let's say you don't think LeBron James is gonna get 20 points, I hate LeBron, less. If both those things happen, you make money. If you pick another leg and that happens, make more money. If you pick another one, that happens, you make more money. Prize Picks is the only one that offers insurance, so you can do flex play. If that happens, the payout is a little bit smaller, but it does offer insurance that if you don't get everything right, you still win money. Thank you guys for this opportunity. Thank you, Prize Picks, for wanting to work with me. I hope I can work with you guys long term. And Prize Picks, thank you for making your shit easy enough to win a car, bro. I'm not the smartest tool in the shed. Remember, only play with what you can afford to technically lose. So let's say you guys don't win. Please, please, please be responsible. If you guys use Code Italian, you put in 100 bucks, they'll match your deposit with promo funds, meaning you get another 100 bucks. Just play with the promo funds. Be responsible, but we did win a Hummer with it. Uh, I love you guys. I'm gonna go work out, but um, this is fucking sick. I really fucking, maybe I'll trade this car for one of you guys.
one of you guys can trade for it one day or maybe I'll do a giveaway with t-shirts where like maybe one day I'll make t-shirts and do like a raffle where someone who buys a t-shirt can win the car I feel like that'd be cool maybe if I'm like three four months from now I'll raffle it off but thank you guys for watching catch you later in the video there she goes Marco yep on the mission to be able to drive it 4,000 miles in a row without stopping and take it to Canada on a road trip camping in the woods Please. this seat right here when I'm tw 29 when I'm 29 hopefully I can afford to have a child this seat right here could home one house one sit one I don't know, man. I don't want a kid anytime soon. That shit's fucking terrifying. Oh my god. Could you imagine me and then a mini me? I'd be a chick magnet though, bro. A dad with like a little son. Yo. I get a fucking Hummer, dude. Ooh. Imagine all the fucking ghetto hoes I'd get with this fucking Hummer, bro. The hoopty. The hoopty. <laughs> Peace.